Hi students, so welcome to our channel. I am Dr. K. Vardaras Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of CSE AML, so MLRIT Hyderabad. In coming series of lectures, so we are going to learn about data structures. In this lecture, we discuss about introduction to data structures. So, worry of presentation. So, first we are going to learn the definition of data structure need of data structure, advantages of data structure and types of data structures in that we have linear data structure and non-linear data structures. So, coming to outcome of this lecture is you understand what is data structure and you understand the purpose of data structure. So, what is data structure? So, data structures are fundamental components of computer science and programming as they provide organized and efficient ways to store and manage data. So, fundamental component. So, data structure is a fundamental component. So, up to now in your first year you learn about you learn about variables. So, what is a variable? So, variable we use it to store a data element. For example, if you write int a equals to 5. Now, the value 5 is stored in a variable A. Now, A is a component, A is a data structure to store the value 5. Okay. So, the basic data structure is a variable, but there are many different data structures we are going to use to solve the real time problems. Now, so these data structures are essential for solving various computational problems and optimizing the algorithms. For example, so take our library, library. In library, we have so thousands of books, let us assume there are two thousands of books. All these books are not in organized manner. Then how you are going to retrieve the data? So for example, I want a particular book, the book name is data structures how we are going to retrieve the data. So, for this we are going to take some time, we are going to write one program. So, now so by using these data structures, we are going to so minimize the uh, execution time and we are going to write some optimized algorithms. Okay. In simple terms, we say that a data structure is a way of organizing and storing data in computer so that it can be accessed and used efficiently. So, what is a data structure? A data structure is a way of organizing the data. So, what is organizing? Organizing means insertion the data, delete the data and display the data that means accessing the data. Okay. So, I hope in your first year you all are learning about a variable. So, after that you learn about array. In array, we store multiple elements with same data type. Now, so all these multiple data types, uh, that means we are going to insert the data into the array, you are going to delete the element from the array and you are going to display the elements in the array. Array is also a data structure. Okay. I hope you all are understand, so what is data structure? In simple, a data structure is a, the way of organizing the data. So, what is the need of data structures? So, why uh, we need so data structures? Okay. So, as applications are getting complex and amount of data is increasing day by day, they may be arise the following problems. One is processor speed, data search and multiple requests. Okay. So, consider library example. Let us assume in our library, we have so 2000 books. Okay, so 2000 books. In these 2000 books, I, I want to access a book. The title of the book is Data Structures. So, Data Structures. Okay, so what is the first one? Here, the amount of data is increased day by day. So, what it means here, we have huge amount of data. 2000 books we have. Okay, that is a huge amount of data. Now, so what are the problems we are facing if there is no data structure concept? 
okay so one is processor speed so now in library management system we are going to retrieve the data now we are going to write one program so let us assume this is the program now processor will execute this program now there is huge books to search so the to process the data it takes much time the processor will take much time that means we are going to increase the processor speed or we are going to organize the data in efficient manner then also we are going to retrieve the data okay second one is data search so data search means here we have 2000 books we are going to search for particular book particular book if the data is not in organized manner then it is very difficult to find this book let us assume if the data structure book is in the last row then you don't know how it is organized then for retrieving the data it takes much time okay next multiple requests so for example you are searching for data structures and somebody will searching for data mining techniques and somebody will searching for java program so multiple requests we send to the processor then also we take much time to retrieve the data okay so these are the problems we are facing if there is no data structure concept okay in order to solve the above problems data structures are used so data is organized to form a data structure in such a way that all items are not required to be searched and required data can be searched instantly so what it means so for example if you organize the books in alphabetical order to retrieve the data structures book we directly go to d alphabet okay that means if you are not organize the data then to get the data structures book we are going to start from first book and book by book we are going to search for the data structures so it takes more time advantages of data structures advantages of data structures are efficiency reusability and abstraction efficiency means take the same example library management system if you organize the books in a order then you can efficiently retrieve the data retrieve the book now so efficiency of a program depends upon the choice of data structure if you select a particular data structure stack now stack we organize the data as last in first start last in first out if you consider queue the queue is organized as first in first out fifo okay that means based on the user requirement they are going to select the data structure uh, for efficient program writing okay so next reusability so what is reusability once you define a data structure data structures are reusable once we implemented a particular data structure we can use it at any other place if you define a stack then this stack you can use in many places abstraction so what is abstraction abstraction means simply hiding the meaning of the abstraction is hiding so what we are going to hide here we can hide the implementation of the data structure okay now data structure is specified by the adt so adt means abstract data type which provides a level of abstraction a level of hiding the client program uses the data structure through interface only without getting into the implementation details so these are the advantages of data structures efficiency reusability and abstraction so types of data structures we have two types of data structures one is linear data structure another one is non linear data structure so linear means sequential data structures the data is stored in a sequential manner example array so array is a linear data structure non linear data structure that means in non linear data structure we store the data elements in hierarchical manner okay so let us discuss in detail so linear data structure a data structure is called linear if all of its elements are arranged in the linear order so linear means sequential order so for example so this is the 
array. Let us assume this is the array. The array size is 6. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Array name is let us assume A. Okay. So, int A of 6. Okay. Now, here we are going to store 6 elements. For example, the first element is 8, 17, 9, 22, 44, 33. Okay, so these are the numbers. Now, so what is linear data structure? A data structure is called linear if all of its elements are arranged in the linear order. So, what is the linear order? The first number is 8, is stored as a first number. 17 is the second number, so it stores after 8. After 17, 9. After 9, 22. After 22, 44. After 44, 33. Now, to access the 33, for example, if I want to access this 33, so before that, I access all the remaining numbers. Why? Always we access the elements in array using starting address, the starting element. For, so, it is a first element. After that, we traverse to second, third, fourth, fifth. Then, we retrieve the sixth element. Now, what you understand? In linear data structure, if you want to access nth element, if you want to access nth element, so before that, we access n minus 1 elements, n minus 1 elements. Okay. So, that is a linear data structure. The elements are stored in a linear fashion. The memory is allocated in a linear fashion. So, types of linear data structures are arrays, stacks, queues and linked lists. Okay. Now, so I hope you all are learning about arrays in your first year in C language. Now, in data structures, we are going to start from stacks, queues and linked list. So, these three we learn in data structures course. Okay. In non-linear data structures, elements can have multiple paths or relationships allowing for more complex relationships between the data items. What it means? In linear data structures, after 8, we traverse to 17. That means, after 8, 17. After 17, 9. For 9, the previous element is 17, after element is 22. That means, here the element is associated with previous element and next element. But in non-linear data structures, the elements, every element have multiple paths, so multiple relationships. Okay. So, types of non-linear data structures are trees and graphs, trees and graphs. So, what is a tree? So, tree is like this. It is a hierarchical data structure. So, this is the root node. It have two children. Okay. So, again, this child have another two children. If you observe that, so this is a hierarchical data structure. In sequential data structure, so each node is associated like this. This is linear data structure. So, this is non-linear data structures, so trees. Okay. So, trees are multi-level data structures with a hierarchical relationship among its elements known as nodes. So, each one is called as a node. Okay. Next, another non-linear data structure is graph. So, graphs are collection of nodes, also called vertices connected by edges. Now, let us assume, so these are the different nodes. Let us assume these are the different cities. Now, so these cities are connected. Okay. Now, so these are called as vertices. Vertices. So, all these are called as vertices. Now, these vertices are connected by edges. So, these are the edges. These lines are edges connecting the nodes. Okay. So, this is the graphs. Summary of today class. A data structure is a way of organizing and storing data in computer so that it can be accessed and used efficiently. Okay. 
Sir, types of data structures are two types, linear data structure and non-linear data structure. In linear data structure, we store the data sequentially. That means, the data structure is called linear if all of its elements are arranged in the linear order. In non-linear data structures, the elements have multiple paths or so multiple relationships. So, those type of data structures we call as non-linear data structures. In next class, we are going to learn about what is abstract data type. If you have any doubts, so place your doubts in the comment section. I will answer all the questions. Thank you.